I'm going to quickly go over converting my generator to run on natural gas or propane. I've got a WEN 56200i 2000 watt inverter generator. We've got a uh, 039-122 um, regulator that I got off eBay for $50. I've got some uh, 3D printed components, um, an adapter for the carburetor, and a mounting bracket. I've also got some feet and a lever to uh, depress the purge button on the back of the regulator. I've got some fittings from the hardware store, a uh, propane regulator, and um, quick disconnects in a 12 foot line. So if you look on Amazon or eBay for kits for doing this, the kits are generally uh, around $180. Um, what I've got here in components, I think I've got about $90 in components for the basic stuff for converting it. Um, and then on top of that, I've got the 12 foot line. Um, at the end of this video, I'll take you to the project page uh, where I've got the STL files that you can download to print the, uh, the bracket to hold it on and the adapter. So I think we'll have a really clean install being able to mount the regulator to the side with a, with a mounting bracket that has adjustable feet um, and the lever to press the purge button. Um, the, the reason that I want to convert my generator to run on natural gas or propane is one mostly is that um, natural gas and propane burn really clean and my generator should last a lot longer and also I don't want to store gas around I'd rather have a, a tank of propane as uh, you know propane lasts indefinitely so with that we'll get started all right in this point I've got the uh, side cover removed exposing the carburetor and the snorkel I've removed the two 10 millimeter nuts from either side of the air box snorkel so I'll pull this away make sure that I leave the gasket against the carburetor and then we'll take our adapter and fit that up into place like that you can see that in place there and then we'll put the carburetor snorkel back over the top of that and then once that's in place I'll reinstall the two 10 millimeter nuts and we'll put the cover back on and go to the next step. All right, I've got the side cover back on. I've got the tubing fed through a hole coming out of the cover to the outside. Um, I've got the 3D printed uh, mounting bracket with the feet adjusted and mounted to the side. I mounted the regulator to the mounting bracket and down here I've installed my fittings and my quick disconnect for my gas line. You can see I've got a 90 degree elbow here. You don't have to have that. I just chose to put that in so the gas line would you know, come out the front. But you could skip that if you wanted. Up here at the top, this is the valve that regulates the gas flow into the motor. Um, this is commonly referred to as a load block valve. Um, most kits that you buy, it's either a fairly expensive. You, you can get these. I think they're like $30, $35. Uh, they're they're kind of spendy. Um, a lot of the kits, the you can tell the load block valves are something they're making themselves. Um, this one I basically made out of a T-fitting and, um, and then I've got a, a, a set screw and a lock nut here and this will give you the ability to regulate the amount of gas coming out of here. Um, you can use a $6 ball valve from the hardware store if you want to instead. Um, it's just this this uh, block valve, as they call it, gives you a little bit more adjustability or fine-tuning to be able to open it and close it and then you know lock the lock nut down. On the uh, regulator here, this lower screw, you shouldn't have to adjust that. Um, but when you, when you unscrew the first one and take it out, that's just a, a, a cover. Uh, a screw and then you can adjust the screw inside of there and what that does that adjusts how much vacuum that the engine draws how much vacuum it takes to kick the valve open and let the gas through so basically this is just a really sensitive low pressure regulator that when the engine's running it's pulling a negative pressure and that negative pressure opens the valve and lets the gas through so if you've got a uh, a really small motor that um the vacuum isn't pulling the valve open you could you could adjust this but uh you shouldn't have to adjust that you should just have to keep cranking the motor over and adjusting the screw until you get it to run and then you fine tune it till the 
until the motor's running really well and then lock it down. So that's pretty much all of that. So now we'll, we'll hook some gas up to it and get it started. So you can see here, I've got the generator hooked up to a natural gas source. Um, first of all, you should never run a generator indoors or anywhere near your house. Um, I'm just in a doorway right now because there's no light outside and uh, I'm in a well-ventilated area, but still never run a generator indoors. Um, so I've got the generator. I'm going to turn the generator to the on position, not the choke position, but just on. And then I'm going to make sure the eco mode is off and then we'll see if we can get it started here. And once it starts, then I'll, I'll adjust the, uh, the uh, adjustment screw there. So now if I want to run my generator off propane, I've uh, hooked up a propane bottle and I've got a regulator here on the propane bottle that you have to make sure this regulator is very low pressure, that it's 11 inches of water column. That's about half a PSI. So just make sure whatever regulator you use is, uh, is, is that pressure. And then the, um, the adjustment on the set screw will change slightly with propane. It'll run a little bit different on propane. If you come here to the project page at uh, GitHub, Chris Annan Tri Fuel Conversion. Um, here I've got the manual, it's a PDF manual that basically has all the bill of materials for every component you need to do this conversion, uh, full instructions, every step of the, of the uh, installation process is here. I'll quickly run through it there. And also on the project page here, I've got um, all the STL files to print the bracket, the uh, lever, lever spacer, and the foot to mount the bracket. And then I've also got here the uh, adapter models. This includes the step file, the STL file, and the SOLIDWORKS file for this adapter. So you can open this up, modify it for whatever you need. Um, if anybody wants to uh, contribute to the project and add different adapters for their generators uh, that'd be great or if you want to send me you could email me um, a, a sketch uh, just a napkin sketch of your adapter and I can I can pretty quickly turn that into a into an STL file and post it here on the page so hopefully we can get a little uh, library of adapters going on this project page so all the information you need is right here thank you for watching